life can throw all sorts of challenges our way, and taking care of our mental health is just as important as our physical well-being. That's why I'm excited to share something with you that I feel like will make a significant positive impact in your life. So shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is an online counseling platform that is changing the game when it comes to assessing mental health support. And here are some reasons why I feel like my kindred should consider joining BetterHelp. In the fast-paced world that we live in, finding time for self-care can be a challenge. BetterHelp breaks down those barriers by offering counseling services online 24-7. Whether you're a night owl or an early bird, you can have access to professional support from the comfort of your own space, making mental health fit seamlessly into your schedule. No matter what challenges you're facing, you can find a professional who understands and specializes in the support that you need. Because BetterHelp boosts a diverse pool of licensed therapists and counselors with expertise in various areas. Let's not forget that BetterHelp is one of the most cost-effective mental health care. Traditional therapy can be expensive, making it a financial challenge for many of us. But BetterHelp offers an affordable alternative, making high-quality mental health care accessible to a broader audience. BetterHelp understands that everyone has their preferred way of communicating. Whether you're more comfortable expressing yourself through messaging, live chat, phone calls, or video sessions, BetterHelp has you covered. Joining BetterHelp isn't just about a one-on-one -on -one session. It's about becoming a part of a community that prioritizes mental health. So here's my conclusion. Your mental well-being is a priority, and seeking support is a sign of strength, not weakness. BetterHelp offers a modern, convenient, and affordable solution to help you navigate life's ups and downs with the support of qualified professionals. Take the first step towards being a healthier and happier you, and consider joining BetterHelp today. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. We are a community that cares, and BetterHelp is here to help you shine the light on your path to mental wellness. Take care of yourself, my kindred. I'm about to go to a dinner at this restaurant called MCK here in Buckhead. And then I got this dress from, I don't know, but I'm gonna put it right here. It's a long maxi dress. For some reason, I can't find the earring, but I got these ones. Baby, you know. Mm -hmm. Alright, good. So we don't have to because I have to be at work at 1045. Huh? Yep, it's so yeah, so same thing. Like, we can't be out too late. We can't be out, but like not. Hello. We made it to dinner. Baby look good. Yes. I feel good. I'm happy now. Yes. I'm like, Where's my friends? I know, I'm sorry. She look good. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, we're about to, um, I, I'm about to get my drink. And then we just order appetizers. And we're just gonna have like a, a good old dinner. Eat, pray, love, grow. Eat, pray, love, grow. Because it's like a, a reminder that like damn 
time doesn't wait for anybody. Like I personally remember my grandmother's 50th birthday and my mom is two years away from 50. I remember when my mother was my age. I'm 28. My mom had an eight-year-old. Imagine me with an eight-year-old. I couldn't. But yeah, so it's just like a constant reminder that like, damn, like time waits for nobody. Even though aging is a beautiful thing. So yes, I am prepping to go to Virginia for Thanksgiving. Um, my mom is actually doing a surprise birthday for my grandmother's 70th birthday. She's doing a surprise birthday at the house. And my mom, y'all know she be doing her big one. So she's doing her big one this weekend. And my grandmother doesn't know, like, so her layover is in Atlanta. So she, But she doesn't know that I'm meeting her at the airport at her layover. And we're catching the same flight to Norfolk. Which I'm super excited about because I haven't seen her in a little minute now. So... Um, yeah, we just got a lot, a lot. I don't even know if I just shared everything that was in my mind, but we got a lot going on today. I had a really long day. I didn't finish hair until it was like 10, 10 45, 11 o'clock at night. And I sat down for like a good hour and a half. Yeah, I sat down for like a, almost a good hour and a half. And, um, because I wanted to just get off my feet eat some food and I watched one of Kyra's vlogs I was like Kyra is coming through with the come through with the vlogs okay like her vlogs give like my vibe like the movie cinematic like vibe like old school like retro like soulful like vibes like she's like one of the one of the only youtubers that I know that I just feel like we be on the same vibe. She's just a little lot bit more consistent, but we be like on the same vibe. And I'm like, even though I know Akira, we're not like friends or anything like that, but I'm like, I could definitely see us like really vibing. But, you know, whatever. I had to order me some gloves off Amazon because I didn't want to mess up my pretty nails. And then I had to give me a new SIM card because my mom sent out an invitation to the family. And she was like, Everybody dressed for a dinner attire. There's gonna be photographer. Da, 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 da. She gonna hit me up and she gonna be like, um, "You know you're the photographer, right? So make sure you got all your equipment. Don't be leaving any of your shit." Da, 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 da. I'm like, "Oh, okay." Mind you, my mom bought my flight. She bought me a one-way ticket to Virginia. So she was like, "I got your ticket, so that's your compensation." I was like, "You got it, okay? You got it, mama." So I had to go ahead and just get me a new. Um, SD card for my camera. This one is 256 gigabytes and it's a speed up to 200 um, MBs. I don't know what that is. Don't judge me, but I know that that's good. So this should like last me for the, for real, for, real, for the entire weekend or week. So um, yeah, I got me a new SIM card. Mm -hmm. Then I had to get me some lashes because as y'all can see, I'm looking like a naked mole right, right now. So I had to like hurry and give me some lashes. Mind you, I ordered this stuff today. I'm so last minute. I really hate that about me because my life would be so much easier if I wasn't a last minute girl. So yeah, I got me some lashes. I've never used this brand before. So hopefully they look like what they look like on Amazon. So these are the 28 pieces D curl, 30D, 40D, and 50D. This is the brand. And then, I was like, oh my god, because I still don't know what I'm wearing for her dinner party. Like, I still don't know, yeah, I still don't know what I'm wearing. But I know I'm going to wear gold because I invited Brandon. My mama, she, asked, she actually told me, she was like, see if Brandon can come. And I'm like, okay. So I asked, I was like, hey, you want to come to my grandma's surprise party? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, hey, hey. so Brandon's coming. <laughs> so Brandon's coming to family function which I think is cute or whatever so he was like so basically I was like he's like what you wearing I was like I don't know let's just keep it cool and like do all black and he's like okay and he's like we I'm like yeah he's like wanna match and I'm like sure so he's gonna be wearing all black and then I'm wearing all black I presume I think I don't know I'm thinking I'm just gonna keep it simple and wear a black dress and then he was like what type of accessories gold or silver and I was like Let's do go, cause 
I was like, let's do go. <laughs> I was like, let's do go. And he was like, okay, go, oh, cool. So I saw these on Amazon when I was on Amazon. It was on my homepage. And these are the um, Duke, the Bodega, bo bo do Bodega, the Bodega. I need, I need to go back to New York. The Bodega Dupes. Um, that was on Amazon. These were literally only like ten dollars, and they're so cute. They, they're actually smaller than than I thought that that I love them. They're actually smaller than I thought they were, which I'm happy about because I don't want them big old them big old ones. I mean, them big old ones probably would have been cute, being that I feel like my hair is gonna be up. So if my hair turns out right, my hair's gonna be up. So the big ones would have been cute, but. These are actually smaller than I thought that they were, but I still think that they're like super cute. So I went ahead and got them. Of course, I add them to my Amazon store for right now that I have them and I can be like, yeah, these are it. These are cute. I like them. These are super cute. So that's everything that I got. My gloves, my gloves, my lashes, the earrings, and then a SIM card. And it literally came in today. I ordered it today around like 2 o'clock and it came in by like 9, 10 o'clock. So that was cool. I seen you from a mile away, child. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> what took you so long for it to register? Say hi. Hi, oh. <laughs> hi, y'all. Hi, everybody. What took you so long to register? <laughs> you just looked at me for a good six I, seconds. I was to see you. Hello. Wow. Here. <laughs> I don't even know if I caught you. I was so exhausted because I'm like, I'm always running late. I'm like, oh, I'm going to miss this flight. My mama going to be like, yes, she is. <laughs> You're crucify you. <laughs> Okay, so we made it to Virginia. Uh, we actually made it yesterday on Turkey Day, but we didn't have a Turkey Day um, because Mama didn't want to do turkey day and then turn around and do all this stuff on Saturday, which is my grandma's surprise party. So, instead what she did was, she got my grandma a room, a hotel room. So my grandma asked me, she was like, why am I in this hotel room and how long am I supposed to be here? And I was like, oh, you're gonna be here till Sunday. But I didn't have a reason why she was gonna be in the hotel room. So, when I go back to get her, cause me, her and Brandon are about to go get lunch, I'm gonna tell her that she in a hotel room because um, my mama they doing some fixer uppers around the house, like redoing the carpet and then the, the walls and stuff. And then um, Brandon gonna back me up on that and explain further on why it's important that we don't be in the house because of fumes and stuff. So hopefully, Grandma gullible enough to believe it. And we're gonna go get lunch today, and then afterwards I'm gonna take her and we're gonna get pedicures and manicures, and then we're gonna come back and just like chill out because I need to edit. Because it took me out this morning. I saw somebody DM me, and she was like, um, "I'm so excited." Basically, she was saying she was excited that I was here in Virginia because I posted on my story, and she was like, "I'm so excited for the vlog." Hopefully, that's what she said. I'm so excited for the vlog. Hopefully, I love your family. I was like, "The hopefully took me out." Okay, I get it. That's your way of telling me that I don't be posting enough. You know what I'm saying? I get that. So we gotta we gotta edit when we get back today. So yeah, and then tomorrow, I hope this is all making sense. And then tomorrow, probably do like a little breakfast or something. And then I'm just going to spend the whole day doing her hair, her makeup, getting her dress. You know, so hopefully this like works out. Yeah. Should I do a little check, outfit check? A little outfit check of the day? Do a little outfit check of the day. Quick outfit check. This is one of my favorite t-shirts, hands down. The best t-shirt, one of the best t-shirts I've ever had. It's actually tied up in the back because it's big. But, oh, I need to fix that. That is not cute. Hold on. It makes it. And then these trousers are from Micah's. These are so cute. And then these shoes. I got these um, mustard, mustard pumps, pointy toe pumps from Sergio Rossi. 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 And then my bag. And then my. MVMT watch and yeah, I'm just chilling today. Hey girl, hey. Gosh, 
<laughs> Grandma said she in the mood for seafood because she don't eat nothing else. A fish seafood. She said she don't eat the the creatures of the sea, the crawlers of the sea, the creepy crawlers. Grandma don't eat shrimp. She called them roaches. Grandma don't eat shrimp. You don't eat crabs either. Oh no. No lobster. No. Uh, Eat oysters? Oh, I never eat an oyster. You never eat an oyster? Oh, I'm gonna have your oyster today. <laughs> really? The snails. The snails and all that stuff out there. Eat shark tail? I ain't never eat shark You ain't never eat no mussel? Oh, Calamari? What type of seafood you eat? You don't eat no seafood, Grandma. You don't eat no seafood, girl. Yes, I do. I eat fish. This is your key. And I try to eat the cleanest fish that can be out there. No problem. All right, let's go. We hungry, chat. What if a man come up to you and say, well, "Can I have any?" If they give you a beautiful compliment, don't act all snobbish. Say thank you. Thank you. A lot of men is not trying to be ugly, you know, fresh and stuff like that. Some of them are sincere. Tell them the tell them the lesson of today. <laughs> Here, I gotta get dressed. <laughs> come sit and tell them. Um, why it's important for us to accept the help of black men. <laughs> Come on, they love you. Let me get, let me get my thoughts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let me start with the story. Gentleman on the plane helping me with my, my suitcase. When I bought the plane, he, he asked me, did I need help? Put my, um suitcase up on the rack and I said yes and he put it up there and um, when it got time to get off the plane he automatically reached up there and got my suitcase for me and um, I was like thank you and he was like do you want me um, to help you with it you know to get off the plane and I was like oh no I got it Lord knows and I started rolling <laughs> Lord, I was stumbling and crumbling and whatever. And I was like, Lord, I thought I had it. But anyway, I thought about it. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't let this man be the man that he, he wanted to be or was trying to be. So I was like, man, I owe this man an apology. When he got off the plane, I said, I owe you an apology. He was like, what for? I said, you know, I teach my sons, but my sons, they also teach me too. For black men, I ask you for help. If you need help, let them help you. Don't get snobbish and, and things like that. Like that. And I'm, my thing is, let let him be a man that he is. Don't don't cut him down. We we talk about black men are not good and they're not this and that. But we as black women, some of us won't accept them when they're trying to help us. That was good, Grandma. That was very good. So edit it, please, real good. <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> That was the, what do you call it, lesson of the day? The what wisdom of the day. Of the day. Wisdom, of the day. wisdom of the day. This is a, 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 a Mrs. Bob um, series. What do you want me to be called? What do you want me to be called? I don't know, whatever you want it to be. This is called. Let me call Grandma series? Okay. Grandma wisdom. Grandma wisdom. Series. Part one. Note one. Chapter one? No. First one. First one. Oh, we like that. We <laughs> like that. Brand. Yeah. Yeah. The Chronicles. The, Chronicles. Oh, the, Chronicles. the, the Wisdom Chronicles, verse one. Yeah, brand. Now I got to get a notebook and start. <laughs> 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 oh, she killed my number. <laughs> beautiful piano. It is a beautiful piano. It's a Yamaha. The traditional. OG triple OG. Yeah. I might take go take up some piano lessons. They say as you're getting older, Sound good. they say learn something new mm -hmm. that'll help keep you from getting dementia and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, music is good for that. Mm -hmm. Learning music, oh my God. Imagine I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna find the piano and yeah. And I have to sit there and It looked, the way your hands were positioned, it looked like they were doing very well. Like you look like you know how to play. Oh yeah. Oh, right now. I was learning how to cross my fingers. 
Now you gotta do it again. So that's a chord. So now hit it to the Yeah. But all but we're gonna do it separately, so you don't even have to hit them all at the same time. Just go. Then we're gonna move it. So this is a chord. We're gonna come up here. That same distance, that space that you got going on, mm -hmm. you're gonna move your hand up here, this pinky here. So basically, we're gonna do this little, so we got, it's, this one's gonna start here. And we're gonna end here. Same, it's the same. Let's do it like that, we're gonna do this. Yeah, then here. But he gotta start the car. He'll call. Oh, okay. he'll, call he'll call you. Yeah. You know him like a book, huh? Yes. <laughs> how, many, how many years you know one another? Like uh, 14, 16. Okay. So we're gonna start. Wait a minute, where my hand gotta go right here? Right here. Okay. Right there where your hand is at? Yeah. So start it again. Let's go back. So. Oh, hit them at the same time. Mm -hmm. No, right yeah. here. Uh huh. When we get yeah. back from um, the mall, hello? Yeah. We're coming out right now. Girl, you're recording me. <laughs> We're coming out. Okay. <laughs> we made it to, we're in Asian right now. We made it to the mall. We're having a nice little low. A uh, troll, stroll, not troll, stroll. Have a nice little old troll. And um, Brenda's in the dressing room. Trying on some clothes. This is exciting. This is fun. Three tools in the dress like that. I knew it. I knew it, Grandma. I know, I know what I be talking about. I, I said, gotta, I just. I gotta go get some shoes, though. Oh, snap. I don't know where it is. Let's see. Come out and, 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 and show mom. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I actually, uh, I can't wear nothing like that. I would never wear anything like that. Grandma said they like nice. my shoes. They nice? Mm -hmm. I think they're really pretty. What's that, 12 inch heel? No, Grandma. That's like a, maybe a, maybe a five or six. That's probably like a six. More than a six inch heel, girl. No, what you talking about? This is a six. That ain't no more than no six. Yes, it is. Huh? The average heel is a six inch heel. This is a four. No, for, put your finger up again. Look, that's more. That's more. No, I'm saying that's like three inches that you're showing. This is six. I'm I'm measuring with my finger. My finger not even going up to six. That's, that's okay, six inches. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. My female organ will fall out of me. I'm coming. I'll record myself. How about that? Of course, this is additional. Right now. So, 
but I feel like... Just need a belt. Yeah, but I feel like you need to tuck it in, though. I feel like if it's out... Let me see it out. I feel like I would have to open it up. Oh, yeah, at the top. Leave one open. You put a shirt underneath it. Let me see. Open the top up. Mm -hmm. You ain't putting I mean, on the bow, ain't it? This, this ain't gonna be this. I know. Then open see. the second one. Let me see. Yeah. Because I already, you know, yeah. I'm going to get some stuff anyway. But yeah. I'm yeah. Not anyway. Leave it up. Let me see. Let me see. And the pants long, ain't they, Grandma? Okay, so what you think? Yeah, I, 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 I knew the pants was going to work. But normally they don't. I'm trying to tell you. 32 is not working. Oh, wait, so let me see. You think the shirt should be bigger or smaller? Not smaller. This is an extra, extra. Turn around. Most definitely not smaller. Yeah, yeah. Not smaller. yeah. No, that's good. That's, that's, that's good a good size. size. Yeah. yeah, okay. Can you back up? I gotta see. I just wanna see. How, how do you wanna wear it? Out of your pants or in your pants? I don't know. At first. I think I like it out. I, I think I think either way. Yeah, and it's nice. I thought about when I saw that shirt. I said, oh, yeah, I like this. <laughs> my, my mama gonna like this. All you have to do is get that guitar now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they got a guitar in the front room. <laughs> oh man. Good. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> You got it on now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can we be the judge of that? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, here. Just here. Can you go like this? Shoulder. Uh, not here. What size is it? It'd have to be a two. Because okay. I think this is an extra. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, 2XL. Well, with this, it'd have to I be like two. the black. You like, I like the black. Mm -hmm. That's the black nice. Yeah. It's just, oh, snap, it's just man. Shoulder, though. I didn't, I yeah, didn't. if you can't, <laughs> that means it's too small. Okay. And that's that's what happened to my, my, uh, my Pico at home, too. Mm -hmm. Like the back, I can't. Okay, so 2XL. Yeah. Got it. Good. Look nice. I like yeah, that. That'd be nice. If we can find two XL, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to dinner tomorrow too. I figured we just do a nice dinner. I'm still working on that. Still working on that. But nice. nice dinner. Oh, snap, man. I like this jacket a lot. Mm -hmm. and I think that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Grandma and I made it back to the hotel, and we are back on the Yamaha. We are on the keys. We are on the piano. Okay. And Grandma, oh, she got her, she got her left hand or her right hand down pat. Okay. I call it. I say my um. My right hand is the singer. That's why I go, dun, 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 dun. and then my left hand is like the chorus. Oh, maybe that is. Okay, let's try it again. Come on. She gonna play for y'all. I just wanna save the battery. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. So it is a 
brand new day. I was trying to take a shower, y'all. Well, I mean, I did take a shower. I When the alarm was going off, I thought the alarm was going off for the building. And I was like, of course, the alarm will go off on today out of all days, like where I'm already stressed out. So I just continue. <laughs> you know, Y'all gonna be like, this girl. When the alarm was going off, I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna have to at least finish my shower because I'm stressed out. So I finished my shower, everything. The alarm was going off for like a good three, four minutes. Anything happened in three, four minutes, y'all. Please, excuse my nonsense. Excuse, excuse my ignorance, okay? So I'm still showering, and then when I get out, I realize that it's not the building's alarm, it's just my room alarm. So I called the front desk, and I was like, hey, you know, I have the detector going off in my room. And they're like, okay. And it took them like a good couple of minutes to come up and um, check that out. And so they were able to turn that off, and, and now we're here. I'm just trying to do my hair real quick. Um, before I head over to my grandmother's room. So today's the day of her surprise party. And yesterday she had asked me, she was like, why am I in a room and why, and how long do we have to be here? I was like, we um, are in the room because they're doing some re-renovations, like some renovations in the house. And I was like, we can't be there because of the fumes and stuff. So my mom put us in a room. That's what I see. I'm hoping she believed it. I feel like we, I feel like we made that very believable. I don't know. But anyway, so um, yesterday, basically, what we did was uh, me and Brandon took her to like lunch. We went to the mall, and then we came back to the hotel. And me and my grandma had like a piano session where we were on the piano, and then we had like some girl talk. We were talking for like hours, and that was yesterday. So today, when I woke up. Um, I woke up, I got myself together, and then I took her downstairs to get some breakfast. So she went and got her some breakfast. And then um, while she was having her breakfast, I went out and ran errands. Me and Brandon went to go run errands. We went to um, uh, my mom's house to um, help her like decorate a little bit. And then after that, we went to Walmart. I had to go to Walmart to get my grandma some tights. Cause I'm trying to figure out how can I get her in this dress without her suspecting anything. So my mom got her this dress and these really cute kitten gold heels that I'm hoping she doesn't complain about because my grandma always like, I don't wear no heels. But I think she's gonna look so cute in this. So I'm trying to figure out how can I convince her to wear this without her like expecting anything or without her giving me too much lip. Oh my god. So <laughs> So yeah, I went to Walmart to get her some tights. Hopefully that like helps and she'll be more comfortable wearing the dress. And then um, we went to Pandora. Me and Brandon went to Pandora to get her some Pandora charms because the family, my mom got her a Pandora bracelet and whatever else. And then my mom created a wish list for um, the family to get grandma some charms. So me and Brandon, each got her two charms off the wish list and then now I'm here I just got a shower I'm redoing my hair because I'm making sure my hair look good I'm trying to make sure ain't no lace ain't no lace out because mama do not like she's like I can see your lace you know I don't like that <laughs> I'm like I know mama dang just come some like so I just swapped my wig out so that way it can look fresh you know what I'm saying so I'm working on that and then after I do this I'm gonna pack a little bag and I'm gonna go over to my grandma's room and then I'm gonna start getting her ready, like do her hair, do her makeup, you know, try to finesse her in this dress because we have to be out of here by 5, 5.15 the latest because my mom wants grandma to be at the house by 5.30. I say 5.45 because to give people some time to get there because I feel like people gonna be late. My mama said she told people to be there by 5 o'clock, but <laughs> y'all know how people are. So, so yeah that's what we got going on today i'm excited i'm a little bit nervous but i'm excited i need to wait for my moose brandon went to the store to get me some moose brandon be coming in clutch okay he be coming in clutch and i left my moose at my mama's house so he went and got me some moose so my hair could be laid and slayed and down to the side is that how they say it i doubt it but yeah 
All right now, but that's the tea, y'all. That's what's going on. I don't know why I'm whispering. I feel like I'm telling y'all a little secret, a little tea, which I am. So that's why I'm whispering. But anyway, so yeah, that looks good. And I didn't even lay that down yet. That looks like it's coming from the scalp. That look good. Like, it's giving scalp for real. Yeah. And it's hot comb. Baby, my mama go. She gonna have to let this hot comb go because I need this one. Because my hot comb, I guess, is a little too thick and it don't be laying it flat like this. I be having to use the blow drying method, but baby, this is flat. Yeah. Let me get myself together, get my little bag together, and then I'll see y'all when we get to grandma room. I see the pita. covered from head to toe. I'm not, oh really? Yes. This is short. And when I sit down, you can see up my dress. See, we don't wear clothes. This is the, this is the reason why we don't wear short clothes. Oh, you got tights. Nice shade. Nice shade. You look beautiful. You're not funny. You're not funny. You're not funny. It's so sad. How does that even work? Oh girl, it's so pretty. <laughs> you not smiling. No. I'll just cover your chest. Look, I just do your head. Look. Look, Grandma. You can't even see nothing. It's just your face. See? I promise. Come on. Let me do that to me. Mm. <laughs> you will not dress me again. Trust me. <laughs> no? No, uh, 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 uh. Y'all will not dress me again. Well, I gotta put the jewelry. Well, you can put the jewelry on me, but when it comes to garments, this is a no-no. Is it? It's an absolute no-no. I might look beautiful, but it's a no-no. A no-no. Now we're gonna put on your earrings. Oh, let me let this fall off. You it's okay. Took it off. I didn't take you that took off. off the bracelet. I, I took this off the I bracelet. I took that one off too. I put it over there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What are earrings at, Grandma? It's supposed to look like an MGT. Right now, I don't look like an MGT. Do you know any MGT men? Oh. Yes, I do know FOIs. Yes, I you do. You know FOIs in California? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Single. I don't know if it's single. I'm, I ain't kind of look for a man, so I don't know if it's single. I wasn't inter I'm not interested right now. Right now, you're not interested. No, I'm not interested right now. I'm interested. You don't count. Oh. There you don't count. <laughs> <laughs> you look absolutely. I'm used to being clothes up. Beautiful. Not I don't care. I'm used to being clothes up. Wow, you look so beautiful. Let me put your shoes on. You look so pretty. I'm tripping over these darn shoes. I'm going to hold your hand. 
Yeah. Ain't had on heels in so long time, and you're not walking them anymore. Oh, perfect, like Cinderella. Oh wait, I gotta take these off. These at the bottom. Is this like a little sticky? Is that gonna bottom? keep me from slipping and sliding? Oh no, it's the bottom of the shoe. Okay. Oh, Grandma. Lord, I'm gonna hold different. Dante, my legs is showing. It's just your feel leg not showing, it's your foot. I promise you. Okay. Right, let's look, look in the mirror. mirror. I, I look like a street person now. Wow, no, you do yes, not. Yes, I do. Oh, my God. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Look, you got your little hair in your hair. Yes, I do. So stressful. Mm -hmm. Girl, you just done took me out of my character. You look beautiful. You and your mommy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh?
you'll feel you keep your feelings out of the out of the circle and stay together. Mm -hmm. Grandchildren do the same. Mm -hmm. Family all Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. Family stick together. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is the same. We all have our issues. Yeah. Personality. Personality. about to try to or attempt to do some boho braids on grandma so I went to the beauty supply store and I got some um, braiding hair and then some human hair for the waves part and then all the little tools that I need got some mousse some spritz some jam fine tooth comb tail comb edge brush you know I got everything that I need to successfully do these braids so y'all wish me luck Yes, I do. Hold on. Okay, turn around. Even though we put it up. <laughs> Did a good job for my first time. <laughs> Go ahead, Grandma. <laughs> Okay, so it is a brand new day. Um, last time I talked to y'all, I'm pretty sure I was with my grandma and my mom. Um, but I just got back here to Atlanta yesterday. And, um, yeah, and now today's a brand new day. So, I just got finished with a client. Mind you, okay. I'm going to try to make this story short. But this was so funny. So, mind you, this client, she scheduled her appointment like three weeks ago. Three, four weeks ago, probably. And, um, so, I do have on my scheduling site, hey, Google, pause. Kiss of life. Um, yeah, I do have on my scheduling site where it says that, you know, I will contact you 48 hours um, ahead of time. Or not I will contact you, but let's schedule like 48 hours ahead of time for you to drop off your wig if you're bringing a wig for me to customize, you know, before your appointment. So that way it'll just cut time. So mind you, but I was out of town. So I knew that her appointment was today. So I made sure that my flight um i came back home you know the day before or whatever so the 48 hours which was two days ago that was the day that i talked to y'all i saw y'all and i was with my grandma and i was doing her hair so when i got finished i didn't expect for it to take me that long to do her hair mind you it was my first time breaking hair so by the time i got finished it was late in the evening slash night so um yeah by the time i got finished that's when i like got on my phone got on my computer and was basically catching myself up from today like the emails that i got dms you know returning text messages and stuff like that so i saw that this girl she had like messaged me and emailed me and stuff and it was too late for me to text her back i felt like it was too late it was inappropriate to be texting back late at night so i just emailed her and i was like hey you know i'm excited to service you i gave her the information that she needed you know like the address and stuff like that and then told her, you know, just prepped her for service and stuff like that. And I told her that because I was out of town, you know, no worries about dropping the wig off. Um, if she couldn't do it the day before, which was the day after, if that makes sense. But I was like, if, you, if you're unavailable tomorrow to drop your wig off, um, no worries. We'll just do it all in one since she only had two clients today. So, um... She emailed me right back. It was late, too. She emailed me right back, and she was like, oh, my God, uh, please disregard the cancellation. I just got nervous, da 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 And I'm like, cancellation? Nervous? What? I have it on my scheduling site where please just allow me 12 to 24 hours to respond. It hasn't even been 12 hours since you, like, hit me up. But she was like, she had gotten nervous, and she canceled her appointment. I'm like, cancel? Why would she cancel? Like, <laughs> Why would she cancel her appointment? I do a security deposit of like half your service price when you book your appointment. So I'm like, why would she just throw away a hundred and some dollars? For, for like, she didn't even give me a chance to respond, but whatever, hey. So she was like, please describe cancellation. I was like, oh, okay, you know, no worries. I'm sorry for like the confusion. Um, and I put her back on the books. So then, you know, I'm doing, still on my computer, doing my one, two, one, two. Then I go to my PayPal and I see that I got a dispute on PayPal and I'm like, dispute this girl went to paypal and tried to do a dispute for her deposit back and she the one who canceled last minute i mean technically what yeah no it was less than 48 hours because if you cancel 
less than 48 hours before your appointment, then the security deposit, you don't get that back. So she went and did a dispute on PayPal. And I'm like, what? So I had like emailed her back and I was like, hi, you know, um, I noticed that you did a dispute on PayPal at your earnest convenience. Can you like, you know, close that dispute or whatever? And she did that. So, but she didn't respond. But she, <laughs> she didn't respond, but she did close the dispute. So I'm like, okay. So then we ended up meeting yesterday. Well, she ended up dropping the wig off. Actually, she called an Uber for the wig. So she dropped the wig off yesterday. So I was able to prep it before her appointment today. So I see her today and she, you know, she was just like, oh girl, I'm so sorry. You know, I was just nervous, you know, cause she's telling me that she has a wedding to go to this weekend and she just wanted to, she said she's a pre-planner. So she's just like this with things and you know, whatever. So I was like, oh no, it's understandable. It's okay. You know, da, 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 da. So then after, mind you, the wig, I worked with this wig company before and the wig that I got, I was like, how are we supposed to do this? Because she sent me a picture of like what she wanted to do. I'm like, how are we supposed to do this? This is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. Because the wig was short, one, and then the wig was thin. So I was like, how are we supposed to do this? So, you know, I'm styling her hair, whatever. And I was like, girl, <laughs> we're going to have to finesse. We're going to have to work something out because, girl, this be And it was huge. The wig was big on her head. So I had to like add an elastic band and like try to sew it down but mind you she had a really short cut so it was nothing to sew it to so I had to like sew it to like the band and then like she wanted the updo but I was like girl we can't do no updo with this because it's like it's just not gonna work so um long story short we finessed and we made the wig work we made the style work and it came out super cute so when she saw her she was like oh my god you da -da 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 -da. can I be honest and I was like mm-hmm she was like, girl, I was talking so much shit about you. I was like, I bet you was. And she was like, girl, I was talking so much crap. Me and my friend was like, you know, these stylists, they be da 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 She's not about to play with me, da 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 She even showed me, like, messages from their, like, WhatsApp of them, like, talking crap. So I was like, girl, you know, it's, it's okay, it's cool. I'm, like, not problematic. And she was cool, and I get it. Like, she don't know me, so... And I've heard some horror stories about hairstylists here. And I just be like, bro, what? One time I heard that this a stylist canceled on her client. Canceled on her client, asked her if she wanted to reschedule. But like something like this, you know how the girl she had a wedding to go to? But yeah, so you know how like she had a wedding to go to. So say I canceled on her. Say like I missed my flight or something. And I was like, hey, did you want to reschedule? And she's like, no, actually, I don't. <laughs> or no, I can't because I'm going out of town. Da, 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 da. There are stylists that will not give you your deposit back and be like, oh, the deposits, I already stated on my website, the deposits are not refundable. So, da, 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 da. Bro, that's weird. You're the one that canceled. How? So, I get where she's coming from because stylists be tripping. So, I get where she was coming from. But, yeah, that was funny. Did I even finish my story? I don't know. My phone call got me distracted. But that was funny. So that's what happened. Um, but everything was cool. Everything was copacetic. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be uh, on the books, you know, coming back because she dropped off um, three wigs as well for me to revamp her. So I was like, yay, another one. We love when the girls be coming back. We love that. Because it's like, so like, it's easy to, if you have good work, it's easy to get new clients, right? Or if you're posting your work or, you know, if something went viral and like, you know, it's easy to get new clients. It's, can you retain them though? Like, are you, do you have them on the books? Can you retain them? And I think that has a lot to do with like your personality, your customer service, you know, do you treat your clients like you need them and not that they need you? Like, you know what I mean? So um, I just think that that's, I think that's what makes me stand out as a hairstylist and as, as a small business owner. Cause you know, I make and construct, I construct wigs. So, um, I think that's what makes me stand out because I treat my customers as they are. They're my customers and they're supporting my business and I really appreciate it. So, you know, my customer service is always on point. You know, I'm very compromising or understanding and, um, yeah, I'm just cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm a cool girl. You know what I'm saying? I don't do too much. I'm not rowdy. No, none of that. So, yeah, that was cool. That was fun. That was an interesting, I had an interesting morning. A long morning at that. But, yeah, I went downstairs to walk her out. And then I got a text message saying that I got a package. And I was like, ooh, good, just in time. So, I got a package. And I'm like, 
in the big locker room so there's like two separate lockers there's like a locker for like regular packages and there's lockers for big packages so i got a locker i mean i got a notification from the big package locker and i'm like what and then i see that i got some flowers flowers which i kind of want to feel with any flowers because who else would send me flowers and it has my number up there well i mean if they have my address then i'm pretty sure they have my number so i ain't want to jump no gun i don't want to jump like a gun and assume who sent me flowers but yeah kendra got some flowers sent to her flowers because it's kind of like the same mo with the chocolate in a card and it says your day just bloomed yeah. we know who sent me flowers brandon sent me flowers okay cute uh, beautiful flowers for a beautiful heart my glue is you when it feels like my world is falling apart love you brandon Beautiful flowers for a beautiful heart. My glue is you when it feels like my world is falling apart. Oh. Not your girl being courted. I just but I just did not. I did not expect this to be happening like this. What's going on? It's still kind of hard to kind of like process things. I'm like, what's going? What's happening here? Because things are just like happening. I'm like, what's happening here? Brandon professing his love for me, sending me flowers, meeting my parents. What's happening? I mean, not, I mean, they, what's happening? Hi, Lizzie. Hey, Grandma. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm well, also. Why do you sound like that? Oh, I was just, um, doing something with my tongue. Um, my gun while I was talking to you. Oh, you okay? Yeah, that's it. That's all I, I was calling for. Oh. But yeah, guess who sent me flowers? Who? Yes. Oh, Brandon. Yes. Oh, bless his heart. I just got finished doing um someone's hair, so I went downstairs to walk her out, and I got a, a notification that I got a package. And I was like, a package in the big locker room, what? So, cause, cause we have like two separate locker rooms. So I, I went and I was like, I got flowers. And I'm like, who would send me flowers? I didn't want to assume. So I just opened it and he sent me flowers with a card. Let me read it to you. Yes. He says, beautiful flowers for a beautiful heart. My glue is you when my world feels like it's falling apart. Love you. And then he sent some chocolate and their long stem, their long stem red roses. That's another star by your name. Huh? That's another star by his name? Yeah. What? Yeah, he's collecting stars with me. <laughs> 